Hi friends, it's Sammy here with Blue Feather Homestead. Welcome back to my channel. Tammy over at Mountain Grandma is hosting her Christmas Gifting 2022 collaboration again this year. And she's asking any creative friends to come over and join in on the collaboration. It's an open collab. So if you are going to do it, be sure to hashtag Christmas Gifting 2022 so that she can put you on her playlist. Um, anybody have any good DIY gifting ideas, please join in on the collab so we can all go to one list and get some great ideas for this year's Christmas gifting. So today I'm going to make some uh, decorative soap out of by decoupaging. So let's go ahead and get started. So you want to start by getting some soap first of all. I got this uh, 10 pack of soap, ivory soap. I think it was about $3.50. Um, but you want to, you can also get it at Dollar Tree, I do believe. I think they have like three packs of Jergens maybe for $1.25. But so I have some ivory soap here and you want it to be um, flat on top. Now I have done like curved soap here. This is just like a swab, bar of swab. And you can see that they're kind of rounded on the edges and that worked out fine. But um, on this one, I just used one of my stickers that I had in one of my sticker books and this, and then I put some uh, Mod Podge on that. But I'm going to use napkins today. So you can use stickers if you want to. But, oh, and this one I made last night. This is off of an envelope that was on my Christmas card from, or Christmas card from my mother-in-law. I just cut that off the envelope and glued that on and then put the cover on. So um, the, the soap that I have here is ivory soap and you can get that off of there by sanding it down. If you have a block, you can just, you know, sand it down like that. It's a little bit messy, but you know, if you want that off of there, you can do it that way. Last night I used, this can opener that I had and I thought well I'm just gonna kind of scrape it like that on both sides well this ivory soap is just really soft and it'll come apart pretty easy I'll show you kind of how it turned out and I kind of like the way it turned out it kind of turned out I don't know rustic looking I mean it really scraped it I, I ended up scraping the sides and stuff but it just kind of really dug into it but it's not on there anymore I kind of like the way it turned out Here's the, see this one, I didn't take the ivory off. And you can't, you know, you really can't tell too much and it's probably not gonna matter that much anyway. These napkins I got at a garage sale for 50 cents. You can, you know, pick up any kind of napkin or use whatever kind of napkin that you would like, you know, whatever kind of design you'd like. I tried to get them on sale, you know, just for this very purpose. But this, these are the ones that I used for this, this particular napkin style here. These are the ones that I made. And they're really pretty. But I also pulled some out last night from the pantry. I think I'm gonna maybe use this one here, the zebra stripe. And then I'll maybe I'll make some kids soap too. Those are pretty cute, the Shopkins. So you're just gonna take your bar of soap, decide what design that you want to put on here. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with this zebra striped. Can't decide if I wanna kinda of go sideways with it. Or what? I think I will. I think I'll go sideways with it. So you're just gonna basically start cutting, okay? Kind of hold it and cut around. You can like trace it if you want to with a pencil and then cut after that, but I'm just holding it on top here and cutting away. You want to try to get it, you know, to cover the top just the best that you can without it like overlapping too much. Now your napkins are uh, usually two ply and you're going to want to separate those. So here you go. There's that very thin layer of the napkin. I'm going to use a sponge um, to put on my Mod Podge. But these sponges came from the Dollar Tree, and I've, you know, they were like a dollar. Well, it's dollar twenty-five now, but they come in a six-pack. So if you don't have any of those sponge brushes to use, you really get more bang for your buck if you do use these. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm going to use today. I'm going to use matte finish. You can use matte or gloss. 
And today I'm going to use matte. So I'm just going to put this on the top here like that. And then we're going to spread this over the top. Get it really nice and covered. Okay. Okay, now I'm just going to gently put this on here. Just like that. You don't want to touch it too much. It'll tear really easy. Just kind of pat it on there. Try to get any wrinkles out if they bother you. All right. That's on there pretty good. Get kind of on the edges here. It already looks cool. Now we're going to put just a little dab here again on top. And sponge that on. This is the first layer. Now you're going to do about three layers of Mod Podge. This is uh, water soluble. You can use this after it dries. Um, you can use it and that will still stay on. So after this dries completely, we'll do another coat, and then um, after that one dries, we'll put a third one on there. Now, if you want to speed up your process, you can get your hair dryer and, you know, get after it. Okay, so there's the first one. I'm going to go ahead and do another floral topping here, because I will be giving these as gifts, and I kind of am going to go with this theme. <laughs> Okay, so Michelle is going to do one, and this is the napkin that she picked out, and we opened it up, and it had two, so that's awesome. We're going to use one here, though. She wants to use the bottom part that says thankful and the border there. So I'm going to cut it out for her, and then she can glue it on there. Well, we've got most of these finished up and obviously uh, not all of them are completely dry, but I wanted to show you some of the things that you could kind of do to dress them up a little bit. I've just put some jute on here, you know, just kind of wrapped it on there like a little present. It makes it kind of cute. Here's the one that Michelle made. Thankful. Turned out really good. And there's the flag one. I'm not sure if I had mentioned that I used uh, matte instead of gloss on here, but it, you know, it's, it'll work out just fine really either way. I was going to kind of show you these. I have gloss. If you can see, it's a little bit shinier than the other ones. So that's the gloss Mod Podge. And then, um, oh, this one turned out really cool. Turned out really good too. But I would wait a full week, let them dry completely for a full week before you uh, give them as gifts. I wanted to show you too if you ever tried uh, melt and pour soap. I made melt and pour soap. That I made these with that stuff. There's like oatmeal in the bottom of them, but aren't those cute? And that, that stuff is so easy. It's so simple just to melt it and then, you know, you just pour them in your molds. And it's decent soap. Really cute. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I um, hope you give it a try. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.